All right, today I want to talk about a new feature in Power Toys. So this will be on the Windows side of things. There's a new advanced paste tool. This is supposedly AI enhanced. So I want to take a look at this and see how it works. It sounds interesting. And when I first read about this, I thought, you know, it might actually be nice if a tool that could copy and paste could look where I'm pasting into and change the format to match whatever the target format is. So I don't have to use a special keyboard shortcut to do that. For example, if I'm copying some text here from an article, coming over to a Google Doc and pasting that in. I hate that the formatting is added by default. I wish something could be looking at the context of what I've typed in and decide that I probably want to paste this without the formatting. And I guess in other situations, maybe paste it with the formatting. Now, I'm not certain that this tool actually does that. Instead, it sounds like it does translations, perhaps from Python to C Sharp. So I thought, hey, let's just take a look at this. It sounds like it could be something useful, even if it doesn't do what I want it to do yet. Let's take a look at what it can do today. All right, so let's hop over to Windows here. And first up, I'm just going to open up Power Toys, make sure I'm updated. All right, once that's done, open that back up, take a look at how to activate this. So this is now set up to use Shift V or Control Alt V. So it looks like Control Alt V will perform a typical copy and paste, perhaps even stripping out some formatting like I was talking about. And that would become a global command. So that might be interesting. And then we have this other mode, which is an advanced paste window. So let's take a look at this. So let's come over here. All right, Mia Fibonacci function in JavaScript. Just get some basic code here that we can copy. This will be in JavaScript, and we'll see if it can convert it to C Sharp. All right, so let's just take this first block here. If I want, just to make sure that's correct, I can start up node, paste that in. And there you go, Fibonacci of 10 is 55. All right, so the code works. Let's come back over here and let's just open up VS Code. All right, and now if I do a Shift V, oh, it's not working. Let's take a look again. Uh, it's Windows Shift V, I missed that. So Windows Shift V. All right, a little window pops up here. Okay, so I can paste this as plain text. I can do that. Good deal. Windows Shift V. Paste is markdown. I don't know what that's going to do, but okay. <laughs> Doesn't seem to really do anything there. Windows Shift V. Let's do this. So it says to custom with AI not enabled. So let me come over to Power Toys, click on Advanced Paste. I'm assuming in here I can put in my API key. Yep. All right. I can enable this. All right. I just need to get a key. Give me a second and then save that. And then I copied my example again. I won't be pasting my API key for you. And then just for reference, I'm actually going to paste in the original here. And then now, Windows Shift V. See if we can just do paste as C Sharp. Run that. Should show a preview if I understand correctly. All right. That does not look... Well, part of that looks accurate with the console right line, but this is definitely not valid C Sharp right here. So let's do this. Let's do paste... JavaScript as C Sharp. Okay, it looks like it might be closer to working. So I'll paste that in, save that. And then over at the command line, list up my .NET tools globally. All right, don't have anything. So I need to install a tool globally called .NET dash script. Let's go ahead and run that. That'll allow me to run the C Sharp code. All right, so now if I hop over, copy the path of this file, Change into its directory. There's the test C sharp file. Run .NET script and then test.cs. See if that works. All right, that worked. Wow. I guess I'm impressed because the first example was wrong and I was hoping the second example would work because it makes for a good demo here. Though I should say, I was kind of unimpressed that it didn't figure out when I did paste as C sharp that I wanted JavaScript to be converted, that it couldn't figure out what the target language is. So I'm wondering if I do paste code as C-sharp. Okay, again, it's not figuring out that that's JavaScript. So one last thing to comment on here. This is just a first impressions. I'll take a look at this, and if there's other interesting features, I will definitely do follow-up videos. One last thing I want to say, though, is I'm really sick and tired of these warnings that AI can make mistakes. Of course, we all know that whatever it generates is something that we have to validate. Can we get rid of the stupid warnings already? Can we just assume that everybody already knows that? And if they don't know it, they'll figure it out pretty quickly. 
And furthermore, do I really need a link here to the terms for OpenAI and then policy document? This is ridiculous. Save this space here. Don't add this stuff that just adds noise to the interface. Put the very first option here as paste this plain text right underneath the prompt that I typed in.